How do you see the city of Seoul? Is it just a gray city filled with tall high-rises? Actually, there is a place that highlights the true colors of Seoul. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Seoul. My name is Luis Fernando Serra. I am the ambassador of Brazil to Korea. Today, I'm more than happy to present to you the royal palace called Gyeongbokgung. Gyeongbokgung was the first Joseon palace built in 1395 and is the essence of the royal family culture. This hidden gem in the bustling city is the perfect place for peaceful relaxation. And uh, it's also a trip to the past because you are really in the 19th century in a city that is heading for the 21st century. So it's, this contrast is amazing and it's, uh, it makes everything more, much more beautiful. At the heart of Gyeongbokgung is the throne hall Gun Jeongjong. The king would grant audience to his subjects, greet envoys, and hold major events here. It symbolized the dignity of the Joseon dynasty. Well, these are the Pungye Sok, the ranking stones. It helped military men and public servants to show their places, the places where they should stood in order to pay respect to the king. Known as the flower of Gyeongbokgung, the Gyeonghwaeru Pavilion was the hall used to hold important and special state banquets. It is one of the highlights of Korean architecture. My office is located in Changuadero, so very close to Gyeongbokgung, and so I can see the palaces from the window of my office every day, and this is a gift that I have every day, and I'm very happy to to have this, this view, this wonderful view of these palaces. Cherish the 600 years of Seoul history by enjoying the deep-rooted traditions of Gyeongbokgung. Enjoy the vibrant view of the brightly lit Gyeongbokgung in the evening as well. Gyeongbokgung is a place that tourists shouldn't miss. It's really a must. I would say that even city dwellers shouldn't miss. <laughs>